Justice Clarence Thomas is facing new heat over this widening ethics scandal. ProPublica exposed that Thomas has this close secret relationship with a super donor, a Republican official, billionaire Harlan Crow. They say it was the kid. Who's the coon? I know, right? Who is the kid? If I wanted to show y'all what it looked like when a person believed that the law should apply to everybody but themselves, well, I'd show y'all the police. But today, I'm gonna show you Clarence Thomas. Who is Clarence Thomas? Mm. Well, it depends on how far back you wanna go. If we're talking last year, well, then Clarence Thomas is the man who voted to overturn the right to an abortion and stated that the court had a duty to correct the error by ridding us of a bunch of other rights, except, wait for it, the right to interracial marriages. Cool alert. Because he may not care about you, but he damn sure not gonna let nothing get in between him and his honey bunches of oh child. If we're going way back, way back. Well, then Clarence Thomas is the man who should have never been allowed to occupy the same seat as the Thurgood Marshall because he's not only a who sexually harassed Anita Hill, he's an unprincipled He's a who's quick to admonish and distance himself from the black community and any acknowledgement of the racism we face until, of course, he's on trial for sexual assault. Then he suddenly remembers lynchings. As a black American, as far as I'm concerned, it is a high-tech lynching for uppity blacks who in any way deign to think for themselves. How convenient is that? And if we're talking today, well then Clarence Thomas is an ethically bankrupt Supreme Court justice who's in fake trouble right now. I say fake trouble because let's be real with ourselves, nothing's gonna happen. Now why is Clarence in trouble you ask? Well, he didn't just violate his ethical requirements to report any gifts above $415 in value. Oh no, baby, Clarence was getting flued out, living high off the hog on the tab of his Republican billionaire, mega donor sugar daddy, Harlan Crow. No, but dead ass, Clarence Thomas has been running it up for the city boys. He's been running it up for so long, two decades in fact, that his sugar daddy done memorialized him in a painting at the crib. Oh my God, is this who we are? Is this what we represent? Do you know how heavy you gotta f somebody to have them painted in the year of our Lord? Do you know how often this man had to comfortably kick it in a garden full of Nazi memorabilia to be memorialized in a painting? Hey, and I don't care what the white supremacists and the Republicans tell you on Twitter, nobody that don't with Nazis buys Nazi memorabilia. <laughs> there are other ways to remember some shit you hate, baby. There are other ways. I'm scared of dolls. You know what I don't got? A garden full of dolls. But seriously, let's count all the unethical licks Clarence Thomas done hit on behalf of city boys everywhere because I really don't want you to walk away erroneously believing and dismissing this as him just failing to report a couple of trips on JetBlue. ProPublica reports. For more than two decades, Thomas has accepted luxury trips virtually every year from Harlan Crow without disclosing them. Thomas has been vacationing at Top Ridge every summer and jet setting with Crow round the world for more than two decades. Top Ridge is Crow's private lakeside resort, a 105 acre property. Once the summer retreat of the same heiress who built Mara Lake, mar a lago mar -a -Lago. you know where Trump be kicking it, features an artificial waterfall and a great hall where Crow's guests are served meals prepared by private chef's child. Also in Sugar Daddy Crow's dime, Clarence and his wife. Yes, the same wife that Clarence Thomas refused to recuse himself from cases related to her involvement in the January 6th attempt to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Yes, that wife. Thomas and his insurrectionist ass wife spent nine days island hopping on a super yacht, getting waited on by private attendants for a trip that cost more than $500,000. Speaking of the wife, it ain't no fun if the homies can't get some too, so Crow also gave her half a million dollars to a tea party group that was founded by her, and he paid her a $120,000 salary. The 
There's an important reason why judges are required to report gifts of a particular value. Although no government institution can truly be a non-political body, despite anyone's best wishes, the rationale behind giving the Supreme Court justices lifetime appointments is that by not having to worry about being re-elected, reappointed, or the usual political processes, judges will be protected from partisan pressures. The Supreme Court has an extra responsibility to appear fair or impartial, and not like our regular politicians in Congress who have known party allegiances and agendas they must cow to. Which is why, if we're honest, the existence itself of so close a relationship between a sitting Supreme Court justice and a Republican super donor should draw scrutiny. Let alone when that Supreme Court justice has knowingly and repeatedly chosen to forego his ethics in exchange for lavish living for he and his crooked ass wife. But ProPublica reported the details of its discussions with Thomas over the years remain unknown, and it's unclear if Crow has had any influence on the justice's views. Is it unclear? Is it unclear? I wonder whether being best friends with a Republican mega donor who financed the documentary on his life, pays his wife's salary, and gave $105,000 to Yale Law School, his alma mater, for the Justice Thomas Portrait Fund, because as Crow put it, he and his wife have funded a number of projects that celebrate Clarence Thomas. Because we believe it is important to make sure as many people as possible learn about him, remember him, and understand the ideals for which he stands. Mind you, I think it's really interesting that the same Clarence Thomas that says he has a problem with affirmative action and because his Yale degree wasn't worth as much because he got it from there has no problem having money donated to make things in his honor at that same school he wanted to close the door behind him for other black students to attend. Hmm. Pro is a man who has given more than $10 million in publicly disclosed political contribution. And that's only what he's disclosed, because as he put it, I don't disclose what I'm not required to disclose. Crow has long supported efforts to move the judiciary to the right. Now, ask yourself whether any of this could have influenced Clarence Thomas's views and decisions and be real with yourself when you ask it. While you're thinking it over, do so with the understanding that Clarence Thomas did all of this knowingly. Clarence Thomas made this recent statement. Early in my tenure at the court, I sought guidance from my colleagues and others in the judiciary and was advised that this sort of personal hospitality from personal friends who did not have business before the court was not reportable, Justice Thomas said. I have endeavored to follow that counsel throughout my tenure and have always sought to comply with the disclosure guidelines lies lies and more lies and lies on top of lies bullshit thomas knew exactly what he was doing and even if there were a world where he did it which is not this world we live in it wouldn't matter because surely a man sitting on the highest court in the land knows the basic legal maxim that ignorance is not an excuse for the law and as an attorney let me just say this you're never exempt from knowing your professional and ethical responsibilities. But more importantly, he knew. And do you know how I know that he knows that he was supposed to disclose it? I mean, besides for the fact that it's stated plainly in the rules that he's required to and most certainly does know. <laughs> I know because in 1997, Harlan Crow took him on a fancy trip and spent $19,000 on Frederick Douglass's Bible for Clarence Thomas and $15,000 on a bust of Abraham Lincoln for Clarence Thomas. And then he reported it and in 2004, the Los Angeles Times published a piece about it for which he got flack and then he never disclosed it again. So baby, sounds like you knew. Sounds like you didn't like the obvious, deserved, and rightful scrutiny, so you stopped telling people. Hmm. But more importantly again, he knew. The filing instructions for judicial officers and employees rules for gifts states plainly, Report information on gifts aggregating more than $415 in value received by the filer, spouse, and dependent child from any source other than a relative during the reporting period. And he can't say he didn't know he needed to report running around a place on Harlan's private jet because that's his friend. Because again, the rules clearly state the personal hospitality gift reporting exemption applies only to food, lodging, or entertainment and is intended to cover such gifts of a personal, non-business nature except the exemption does not include gifts other than food, lodging, or entertainment, such as transportation that substitutes for commercial transportation. Like a billionaire's private jet, baby. As a result, AOC is rightly called for his resignation. She said this. I think that his own statement contradicts uh, 
contradicts many of the facts on the ground and also raises in other ways even more serious questions. Later on in his statement, he stated that the reason and the rationale for this exemption was personal hospitality from an old friend. And he said himself in his statement, a friend of 25 years. Justice Thomas has been on the court for 30 years. And so to say what he is admitting in his statement in an attempt to defend himself is that he began this relationship with a billionaire and receiving these sorts of gifts as after he was appointed to the Supreme Court of the United States. I think that that in and of itself indicates a very, very serious problem. And then on top of that, he is now implicating his colleagues. And I do believe that Chief Justice John Roberts must now come forward and, and state if he allows and is allowing this kind of very serious corruption to happen on, th on this court. I agree with AOC here, but Clarence Thomas showed himself to be a worse man than this incident reveals him to be at the time of his confirmation hearings, and they still put him on the bench. So they're certainly not gonna remove him now. But he's still the Kong shell of the week and a relentless disappointment. Did y'all know that dodo birds couldn't fly? Yeah, poor flightless babies. And like in the 1600s, the Dutch discovered them on an island in the Indian Ocean and then they brought all kind of shit to the island and it caused my babies to go extinct. Dog, RIP.